This year, our SUTD architecture students have imagined the future of housing on offshore Holder Islands. Worldwide, rising sea levels are beginning to imperil our coastlines. Coastal defenses, like seawalls, can help prevent flooding in low-lying areas. For Singapore, these coastal defenses can also be an opportunity to create new land in areas of reclaimed seabed or polders. A polder is created by surrounding an area of shallow seawater with a dike wall, then pump up its water to expose the new land. The Ong and Ong architect in residence team designed a chain of seawalls and polder islands to defend Singapore's southern shore. Our SUTD students explored how these polder islands could become residential neighbourhoods, working with ideas of ecological master planning and evaluated with environmental simulations. Our design builds on the successful public housing models from HDB, but incorporate future possibilities, such as new sustainable materials and systems, new way of living like multi-generation homes and co-living, new form of mobility like drones and air taxis, Let's hear what our students have to say about their work. People are increasingly willing to help others and be mutually dependent. This changing social behaviour suggests to us a new form of housing. We design co-living communities to leverage on individuals' expertise and interests to create shared experiences. The COVID-19 pandemic has led to a new normal, working and living under the same roof. In this project, we question existing housing typologies and explore hybrid spaces from the confines of a home to the larger context of a precinct. The future of housing is an inclusive society for the socially reclusive. Our architecture tries to be a passive rehabilitation machine that reintegrates this group back into society. Evolving spaces create a conducive atmosphere for relationships to be formed over time with a play on greenery as a physical manifestation of this phenomenon. We envision the future generation to be able to redefine the Kampong spirit at both community and unit level based on their preferences and personalities. This is done through 3D printing construction methods and state-of-the-art materials, ensuring self-sufficiency and sustainable growth. 